Big Board Sports 104.5. The team, Roger Wyland, along with Brady Farkas, and joined now by Zach Remillard, LaSalle grad, Cohoes native, and champion with Coastal Carolina, winning the College World Series. What a great story. Zach, phenomenal year. Good morning to you. Welcome to Big Board Sports. Good morning. Thank you guys for having me. Appreciate it, Zach. Uh, let's just start with what it's been like since the final out was made. And I saw the craziness going on in Omaha and everybody jumping around. And I'm sure you received a lot of publicity and, and, na- and national attention as well. What, what's it been like since that final out and winning the uh, College Baseball World Series? Um, it's been something pretty indescribable. I mean, ever since we got home, the community has been fully on board, excited, and everyone says congratulations everywhere you go and kind of brought a lot of people together. So it's, it's been a warm welcoming. Yeah, and, and, and the underdogs too, right? I mean, did, did, uh, did, I got the feeling a lot of, a lot of fans, and I'm not sure, I'm sure your fans felt like you were going to win, but matched up against Arizona. They had won the thing like four times. You, Coastal Carolina, looking for their first ever, correct me if I'm wrong, Zach, national championship in any sport at that college, and and pretty big underdogs going in. What was the mindset, the mentality going into this series against Arizona, and did you really believe that you could get it done? Yeah, I mean, we believed since day one. I mean, we had a big senior class this year and a lot of veterans who have been around the program for a while. So, I mean, to get to that point and to have that opportunity, you don't really get there without believing in each other and believing in what you're capable of, so... Everyone had a positive feeling going in, and we knew we were capable of something special, and for it to turn out the way it did, it was truly fun to watch. Zach, you guys won five elimination games uh, through this College World Series run. First team to do that since 2006. You guys were tied 1-1 in the championship series. Your game three was rained out. What was the suspense like of getting to the park, having the game rained out, and having to come back and play the next day? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely... It's definitely frustrating and suspenseful to have to wait for their uh, the biggest game of your entire career. But, I mean, if you look back throughout the postseason, we, we dealt with the weather problem more than enough times. I mean, we went to Raleigh Regional, and uh, we actually played NC State twice in two different days. The game got postponed to the next day two times against them. And then we moved to LSU. We got rained out of our first practice before the series started. So, uh, I think I think the rain was on our side, honestly. It was, it was kind of a calming feeling knowing that it was going to rain because we've been there so many times before. We are uh, speaking with Zach Remillard, uh, LaSalle grad, Coastal Carolina wins. The College Baseball World Series, Roger Weil and Zach by 104. Zach by. <laughs> you, you, you have the same, you're, you're cut from the same cloth. Brady as Zach Bach. <laughs> That's so good. You know. I'm glad. It, it's I'm, all good. That's good. Uh, and, and, and rather than you forgetting my name, I'm glad no, it's a good parallel. And Zach is my <laughs> my longtime U Albany radio partner. Anyway, Brady Farkas with us. Uh, Zach, five elimination games in Omaha. First team to do that since 06. How improbable was this run? I mean, yeah, definitely, definitely wouldn't have drawn it up that way. But I don't think we've drawn up the whole career and whole season. So. I mean, it happened in the perfect way, and we played better. I mean, like like I said in a bunch of interviews, our, this team was a resilient team, and every time we got punched in the face by someone or got beat, we kind of responded very well. So I think those games were pretty good timing for us to get some momentum. Zach, how about your swing? I watch you swing, and I've seen you. You uh, you work out a lot in the off season over the years at All Stars Academy in Latham, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so I've seen your swing. I, I don't know if I've seen anybody attack the ball more than you attack the ball. I always tell my, my son Brady, who's nine, you know, and, and he, uh, his coaches and Matt Fry, you probably know Matt, uh, yeah. over at All Stars. And, uh, we always tell Brady, you know, be in attack mode. And when I see you come to the plate and take a swing at some of those pitches, man, it's almost like you're swinging for the fences, but you are in attack mode 24 seven. Tell me about your approach at the plate. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been a little bit of adjustment in refining that because it's always good to be aggressive and you want to get your swing off, but uh, a big aspect of it is controlled aggression. So I tried to tone it down on certain uh, pitches and certain parts of the plate and uh, be more aggressive in some counts than others. But, yeah, overall, I mean, I'm, an, I'm a rather aggressive hitter and probably attribute that to my dad who is an aggressive person. So it's just kind of the way we're built, I'd say. 
How about the fact that aside from being a great hitter, you I mean you had almost twenty home runs this year, hit three forty. You were also eight for eight on bunt hits, and the bunt that you had in game one of the series in the ninth inning against Arizona was just an absolute thing of beauty. How is it for you like I, I if I were hitting three forty with almost twenty home runs, I wouldn't be thinking about bunting for hits. Yeah, that's uh that's one of the arts. I mean, I came in this program when I was a freshman and uh as you could probably look up, I struggled a little bit. So my role was to play defense and, and move runners and try to help the team win. So, I mean, that's just the talent I've carried with me throughout the years at Coastal, and that's something Coastal Carolina baseball is built on. So, I mean, to be able to move runners and steal some hits and force the defense to make plays and on top of driving the ball out of the park as a unit, I mean, it just kind of adds that kind of complexity to your offense, which is kind of, what kind of boosted us throughout the whole postseason. Zach, uh, let me ask you this question it, it, on that bunt that, that Brady is talking about. If, if I recall correctly, because we showed the highlights on the uh, late sportscast on WNYT up here in Albany. Give you, we gave you a lot of love, by the way. Everyone did. A ton of love to Zach Remelot. I think you've been our lead story in the sportscast every time that you guys have played. Just so you know, uh, we, we haven't forgotten about you. Uh, was that a head, was that a head first? That was a head first slide in the, in the first, wasn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't really have much to say on on the head first slides. I think I actually, if you watch the whole postseason, I think I had about four of them, and uh, I would, I think I would just attribute that to the emotional desire to to be safe, to help your team, to win a baseball game, and just kind of sell out for your college career. And I actually was talking to uh, Alex Cora from ESPN before one of the games, and he came up to me. And he's right. He said. He told me not to not to dive head first, and that same game I ended up diving head first in the first. <laughs> That was a funny situation. And, and I, it, it was close too, Zach. We, we looked at that replay a number of different times. I mean, that was, that was one of those bang, that, that could have went either way. Fortunately for you guys, they did say that you were safe. Yeah, that was, that was, that was ideal. <laughs> All right. Next step for you, Zach. Um, drafted by the White Sox in the 10th round. Haven't, haven't signed yet. What, what's the timetable? What's the time frame? What, what is the next step here for you? Um, I mean, I'm I'm gonna sign and go play, but uh, after such an emotional postseason run and playing a lot of high energy baseball, I guess they, they kind of wanted us to uh, wind down and relax. Because my teammate Mike Morrison also got drafted with the White Sox, so I'm sure we'll head out there together soon. And uh, yeah, they just wanted us to catch up on some rest and kind of feel our bodies out, see where we're at, and then get get back to it. What's the support been like for you back in the Capital Region? Roger mentioned you were on the lead on every sports cast everywhere. Uh, I actually saw uh, your old best friend from LaSalle, J.P. Sportman, post a lot of nice words about you on social media. What's been the feedback and the support like back home? Oh, it's been great, everyone. I mean, from Coastal Carolina fans all the way back to New York, I mean, everyone's been super supportive. Um, I've gotten tons of messages and tons of notifications on social media and I mean, I just want to thank every single person that reached out to me. I, I think I'm still trying to get back to a lot of people, and I probably haven't even seen everything yet. So it, it's been a great reception, and it's really exciting. Zach, last time we spoke a couple weeks ago, we talked about how cool it might be for you to one day play against your brother, Will Remillard, who's in the Cubs system. Will having Tommy John surgery, I think I read for the second time. What's his mindset like? How's he doing? Oh, he's doing great. He, uh, I mean, obviously it's frustrating news when he found out, but he's a very strong kid, and he, he has a desire to fulfill his baseball dreams. So, I mean, he's just going through the uh, grind of rehab, which he's been through before, so he kind of knows the drill. But he's definitely on his way back, and he's excited. And he's in a good mindset, and I'm excited to hopefully get an opportunity to see him within these next couple weeks. Zach Remillard, LaSalle grad, for a few more minutes here as we talk about Coastal Carolina winning the uh, College Baseball World Series. I'm always interested in knowing, Zach, how how the journey has gone for you from the Little League days up through and then LaSalle High School. And how, how many opportunities college-wise did you have uh, coming out of LaSalle? And, and, and why did you land on Coastal Carolina? Um, there, were, there were some options there. I mean, playing with South Troy and playing with LaSalle High School. Baseball, I mean, you got more than enough exposure to go play college baseball and kind of find a place to fit. So, I mean, I think the biggest key element looking back now is 
I would think my brother. I mean, I loved Coach this program. I knew they were moving in the right direction, play blue collar baseball, and they, they love to put a lot of emphasis on work ethic. So I just felt like I fit in here. But I think the selling point was definitely following my older brother, knowing that I had someone there who was going to watch out for me and love me and care for me. So. I think that was the biggest key of why I chose Coastal at the end of the day. Well, Zach, congratulations. Everyone proud of you here in the uh, in the Capital Region. Great run. Fun to watch. And uh, we'll keep in touch and uh, and hook up when you get back into town sometime down the road. Absolutely. Thank you so much.